Hey guys, what you can make a very quick video here just to sum up some of the new laptops that have been coming out just this week and this month and you know just a quick little sum up video about what space is going on. So back in January, if we could go back in time, Intel launched their new like Sandy Bridge and by but then back in January they only shipped the quad core chips so no no like dual core standard bridge chips with the core i3 or core i5 or core i7 but it seems like now they are starting to do so because like it's March right now so we have seen a ton of new laptops now being coming out with these new standard bridge technology and that's good because everyone can't afford to buy quad core computers and a lot of people they buy like dual core laptops with the core i3 or core i5 or the core i7 so just to sum up let's start off with dell that have announced two new systems just this week first we have the updates of the inspiron r and the dell wasper the dell wasper series so the Inspire on R, let's start off with that. So we have basically three, three different versions. First we have the 14 inch, and then we have the 15.6 inch, 17.3 inch. So that kind of reminds you about the Apple, they have like also three different versions at least. So you have three different dual core options. You have the Core i3 or the i5 or the i7. You could also get the new, or actually you are getting the new AMD 6400 graphics in this computer. Also, Dell have put up their new series of Latitude, the E5000 and the E6000. And these have some things like the Core i3 or, and 2GB of RAM, 250 gb of hard drive. So, yes, some cool things there about Dell and that they are like really going hardcore here. Then, also, let's skip back to or let's skip to HP that just in February they announced two computers or you know, just two updates. And there was the Pavilion series and there was the DV6 and the DV7. And these are some crazy guys, you know, because you can get a 15.6 inch screen on the DV6 with the Core i5, the 2410 mobile processor, 6 gigabytes of RAM and 6, 640 gigabytes of hard drive and just if you add 100 bucks more you can get the AMD Radeon 6490M mobile graphics, obviously. So let's go back to, or let's go to the next one here. We have the Lenovo ThinkPad. We have two new. First we have the T420 and the T520. And these both are supposed to come with some NVIDIA graphics. You have two screen sizes. We have the 14 inch and then we have the 15.6 inch. So the T420, it will come with i i3 and i5 option but if you are going for the Lenovo ThinkPad T520 you could also pick the i7 instead if you like that and then let's go down to my favorites or oh, at least new laptops this week and it was the Samsung Series 9 and these are like some crazy good looking Samsung laptops I, I think that laptop you know Samsung they're doing awesome things they have also new 3D TVs that they are trying out and there is no design I mean they could almost they are almost better than Apple at the design but it's beautiful but it's also an expensive device but the Samsung series 9 laptop series beautiful 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 and obviously they come with the new standard bridge processors you have the core i5 in this one the 2537 mobile processor and then we have sony and they had announced their new neo colored vio series we have the ca and the cb series and these both have either you pick have the 14.4 inch screen or you have the 15.6 inch screen and this will come with the Intel Standard Bridge Core i5 and the AMD Radeon 6470M graphics and they will start off at 899 bucks and if you add 70 bucks you know 70 bucks then you could get your own you know VIP blurry player as well added to this setup
So the Sony series, the Sony Vice, CA and CB, they're very good laptops. Like if you want to stand out a little bit from the crowd, if you want to have something very weird, or you know, you have the green color here, and yeah, colors, colors. But they also announced that they will announce one more color, and that is black. So that's kind of good for these people that doesn't like uh, like green laptop. You know, or like an orange laptop, it like it just stands off too much. So that is just a quick little update about what's going on in the laptop world. So yeah, see you.